The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus said to his disciples, You see how it is written that Christ would first suffer on the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance for forgiveness of sins would be preached to all the nations, beginning from Jerusalem. You are witnesses to this. And now I'm sending down to you what the Father has promised. Stay in the city then, until you are clothed with the power from on high. Then he took them out as far as the outskirts of Bethany, and lifting up his hands, he blessed them. And now as he blessed them, he withdrew from them and was carried up into heaven. They worshipped him and went back to Jerusalem filled with joy. And they were continually in the temple praising God. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise you, Lord Jesus Christ. We celebrate this Ascension Sunday where Christ has opened the path and showed the way for all. By his ascension, he has said to his disciples, as he is saying to us, where he has gone, we too are invited to follow. That his ascension symbolizes for us a deep sense of faith in God through the resurrection. That our lives your lives, my life, isn't limited to this earth on which we live. But you and I are destined through God's grace to be with him, not only in this life, but in the next. Ascension celebrates God's promise to us, celebrates that sense that God loves us so much and says he wants us wants us, you, me, all of us, to experience his divine presence, to experience his divine grace. So Jesus lifted up on high, ascended to the Father, returned from where he came, but not leaving us alone, not leaving us abandoned, but saying to his disciples, he says to us, I will entrust you with the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit will teach and the Holy Spirit will guide. And the Holy Spirit will allow you to understand how you and I are called to live with each other before God, that we can be and are called to be His witnesses. His witnesses of faith, fidelity, love, truth, sacrifice, perseverance to the end of time. That together, the people of God can share in this divine space, this divine revelation of truth of Jesus Christ, who is the Son of God. You and I, humble, fragile, broken, imperfect human beings, are able to share and are called and invited to be part of that divine reality. Isn't that a blessing? Isn't that God's heart poured out over and over again to us? Inviting us to understand how you and I can be and are called to be. St. Paul is right to the Hebrews in other words, brothers and sisters, through the blood of Jesus, we have the right to enter the sanctuary by a new way which he had opened for us all, a living opening to the curtain, that is to say, his body. True Christ, true Christ, true 
his death, passion, resurrection, you and I are able to enter this reality of God. Witnesses. Witnesses of faith. Witnesses of truth. Witnesses of the reality of God. This Mother's Day weekend, we celebrate our mothers and those who mother us and those who support us, those women who support us in many ways, who in spite of our feelings, in spite of our shortcomings, continue to love, continue to say, you can be more, continue to say, come on, let's try again, continue to say, we love you in spite of, in a way reflecting God's love and God's heart. Mother's Day weekend, there's a frenzy. Yesterday, I went into a particular shop and they were almost out of wrapping paper. It was, I was like, wrapping paper? Even wrapping paper I couldn't get? Because in some way, there is this sense that one ought to reflect in some small way gratitude for that which has been offered time and time again some small way and many Facebook um, pages have been altered and and that's important hope and in doing so some house is saying you know what we're not perfect but if in some way I can say to the person who's given me life if in some way I can say to those who have encouraged me along God's way that I can care for them thanks be to God the ascension speaks of the possibility and the potentiality of man woman of faith that God is able to look through look through us look through our faults look through our feelings and still say come that true repentance, acknowledgement of our inability to get things right, our inability to make right decisions, still God says, come, come. As St. Luke says, you see how it is written when Christ would suffer, and the third day rise from the dead, and that in his name repentance would forgive us of sins would be preached to all nations. That all peoples, all peoples. And sometimes we think this all means those who look like us. No, Jesus says all peoples. All peoples. Because God's heart is large. Large. And I don't think we can posit how large God's heart is. And that's why the ascension is there to remind us and beckon us to become better, to live better with each other, to be witnesses, witnesses. And if our society can see through the Christian community and people of faith, witnesses of the presence of God in our lives then our world society can be transformed the ascension is about that promise that promise that the broken can be made whole again that the body that is restricted by sin is not held captive because of the death and resurrection of our Lord that we can be more. To ascend is not only to be transported like some kind of rocket into the atmosphere, but an internal disposition to understand that we can be better, that we can be more. This Mother's Day weekend, some mothers are not necessarily in a good place because of decisions their children may have made. 
And they have to find the courage to continue loving in spite of. And find the strength to continue to love in spite of. And many do. Because in their hearts they recognize even in their children's decisions that aren't always right, there is more. And continue to pray for and offer prayers too with the hope that there will be a change of life as God opens his heart and continues to hope for the change of heart for all of us. We celebrate this Ascension Sunday because it says to us, God continues to have his arms outstretched for a people of faith, a people of faith, a people whose life can be restored. That this body that we live in in the now is only a glimpse of what we can be and what we call to become. We can be more. So Jesus leaves his disciples and ascends. He blesses them. He says, all will be well. All will be well. Go out. Go out and be witnesses. Go out and be signs of hope. Go out and be persons whose lives reflect his goodness. Allow others to understand that they can be. And yes, as we see in the early church, the trials of the disciples, it was not easy for them and it won't be easy for us. But we continue, continue to trust in the God who has made that path open for us all. Open for us all. So we thank God. We thank God for his son. We thank God for his son who has opened that doorway, opened that pathway, so that where he is gone, we too may follow. A God who in Christ has given us the example of how we are called to live with one another. So his disciples can be signs of hope for those whose lives, all of us, are imperfect. That we can struggle and through that struggle become that whom God invites us to be. We celebrate this Ascension Sunday, Mother's Day weekend, with the Gospels telling us that God inspires in his people more, more. That what we live is only but a glimpse of who we can be. And if we allow ourselves to see the good within that God sees, and the good within others that God sees, then maybe, just maybe we too will be with the Father, and the Son, and Spirit forever. This we pray through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen.